Truly, our president doesn't know what he's doing. He's failed us, and he's failed us badly. We've gone through moments in our history before when we acted out of fear, and we came to regret it. The main contribution of some of my friends on the other side of the aisle have made in the fight against ISIL is to criticize this administration and me for not using the phrase radical Islam. The current politically correct response cripples our ability to talk and to think and act clearly. The reason I am careful about how I describe this threat has nothing to do with political correctness and everything to do with actually defeating extremism. I will suspend immigration from areas of the world where there is a proven history of terrorism against the United States, Europe, or our allies, until we fully understand how to end these threats. We hear language that singles out immigrants and suggests entire religious communities are complicit in violence. Where does this stop? We need to tell the truth also about how radical Islam is coming to our shores. And it's coming. With these people, folks, it's coming. If we fall into the trap of painting all Muslims with a broad brush and, imp and imply that we are at war with an entire religion, then we are doing the terrorist work for them. The Muslim community, so importantly, they have to work with us. They have to cooperate with law enforcement and turn in the people who they know are bad. And they know it. Are we going to start treating all Muslim Americans differently? Are we going to start subjecting them to special surveillance? Are we going to start discriminating against them because of their faith? If we don't get tough, and if we don't get smart and fast, we're not going to have our country anymore. There will be nothing, absolutely nothing left. It makes Muslim Americans feel like their government is betraying them. It betrays the very values America stands for.